Hey, this is Lucas from Vanit Capital. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about investing with your tax-advantaged retirement account. Now this could be a solo 401k, a self-directed IRA, an EQRP, um, and that's and if you don't know what any of those are, that's okay. Uh, make sure you find an accountant or someone qualified to give you advice on how best to use these. I'll give you some recommendations at the end of the video of some what we call account custodians, um, which will help you uh, basically move everything over to a, an account that you're able to invest in these types of syndications with. Now, many people are, many investors are surprised to learn that they can take these accounts and move them into a syndication and invest alongside with other people that are just writing a check, high net worth individuals that just have cash laying around. Well, they might have a bunch of cash, but it's stuck in a self-directed IRA. You can still take those accounts and move them over and invest right alongside everybody else. Um, so when one of the most common hurdles I hear One of the most common hurdles that I hear is that, oh, I don't have enough money to do that. Because, you know, buying into a syndication is anywhere from fifty to $100,000. That's a lot of money. Um, most people don't have that just lying around in cash. However, a lot of people do have that in these tax-advantaged retirement accounts. So if you can take this money that's not being used, not being put to, to work, and put it to work in a syndication where we're earning much more than your retirement account is in the stock market, and it's less volatile, you're definitely gonna be better off. There are some other things to look out for, mainly UBIT, U-B-I-T, or U-D-F-I, which are two very different terms that you'll hear thrown around when talking about syndications. U-D-F-I is unrelated debt financed income, and U-B-I-T, UBIT, as it's sometimes called, is unrelated business income tax. Now, these are taxes that will generally apply in most syndications because they utilize debt. Debt is, when you utilize leverage, there's an additional tax on that. So you will technically be taxed using these things most times, um, but any sort of gains that you make from these syndications will more than likely be more than you'll have ever have to pay. So you won't have to come out of pocket most of the time. Um, any projected returns on syndications should more than make up for what this tax will be. Now I told you about these custodians that are making sure that you're following all these rules so it's obvious you need to pick someone with good integrity. Now they should be licensed, they should have a large professional organization and a substantial liability policy. If things go wrong they're going to be on the hook and you want to make sure you can recover any sort of losses that you might take should that emergency situation. Now that I've scared you with the, some of the bad parts about this, let's talk about some of the good stuff. The tax preferences still apply. Any capital gains you make will be tax deferred or tax free depending on what type of investment you're using. You have greater control over what you're investing in with a self-directed IRA. Now, you're not gonna be able to email a CEO of a mutual fund or, or of a company that you're invested in but you do get a sponsor's email, you get their phone number, you know where to find them. So you get greater control, greater access to deals, and it's just an all around better return when investing as opposed to the stock. Now, if your account is doing great, disregard this video, it's not for you. But if you're like the most of us, your self-directed IRA or your 401k when invested in a mutual fund is not doing great. You need to take advantage of this opportunity that the government gives you, totally legal, move that over into a self-directed IRA, IRA or a solo 401k or an EQRP and take advantage of these syndication offerings. This is great. You can invest in anything if it's rolled over into a self-directed IRA. You can invest in Bitcoin, you can invest in gold, silver, all these things that people don't realize. Now, there are some limitations with each of those, so you need to do your research, but finding a really good sponsor of any sort of investment or private placement will take you further than your account manager or asset manager at Charles Schwab or any number of those big brokerage firms that aren't don't have your best interest in mind. Ultimately, I just want you to be successful. So whether that's in a mutual fund, whether it's in the stock market, whether it's in a syndication, as long as it's working for you, that's all that matters. I personally believe that syndications can get you to your retirement goals faster, 
and more efficiently. So if you have any questions about syndication or about IRAs, about solo 401ks, EQRPs, anything we talked about today, please reach out to me. My name is Lucas Miller with Bannock Capital, and you can email me personally at lucas at bannockcapital.com or visit my website, www.bannockcapital.com, and we can schedule a call from there. Thanks.